Yeah. Okay, Auntie Marie, I want to know. Let me, let me, let me sit down like I'm, like Rachel, Rachel Price. <laughs> yeah, I have something to tell all you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> all right. I want to ask you, who was your um, favorite Calypsonian? Um, at this point in time, it's a toss up between Shadow and Rudder, David okay. Rudder. Right. Because I think they're both. They, they, I call them po poetic Calypsonians. Right. Mainly because they see things like, for example, mm -hmm. um, Shadow. Mm -hmm. They see things in a, such a different way. Shadow wrote Dingoli. Yeah. And from uh, up until this, till this day, yeah. I cannot understand how come nobody has seen the, sim the simplicity in Dingoli. It's such a simple... It's so simple. Yeah. You know, all you need is music, and that is the simplicity of, of the whole Calypso. Right. And I don't think anybody has grasped that yet. All I know is about... But all I know is about dance and wine. But... Um, People like them I like him for that. But you say Shadow and David Rudder. David Rudder. So. David Rudder, I, I like because, I mean, for David Rudder to bring out something like high mass, if, if, you, if you really think about, you know, what the words he's talking about high mass, right. what I, what I um, 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 think about high mass is the fact that David Rudder is singing about a people who requires mm -hmm. some outlet, some stress outlet right. in the form of their mass. Right. You know, when he says, um, you know, um, release us from our day, not our daily weakness, there's some part, of, there's some song in there, I mm -hmm. think that explains the in, that, that entire song. There's right. a line in there, I should say, it explains the entire song. Okay. Um, but because, you know, I always feel that um, if Trinidadians don't have carnival, mm -hmm. carnival is an out, outlet. Yeah, stress relief. It's, a, it's, it's stress relief, and maybe it's a little more. Okay. But yes, it's a form of stress relief. And mm -hmm. if they don't have that, yeah. I think it would be, it, it's like, it, it's going to explode. It's, it's like powder, powder, I'm going powder building up in a cake. Um, and David Rudder stated this in high mass, and the whole one line in there explains, basically sums up the high mass. The song of high mass. So I think they're both poetic in their own way because they have a way of, you know, um, they have a way of addressing a topic, and mainly about people and um, Trinidadians mm -hmm. um, in a very and it, but it put it in a very poetic way in a way we can all enjoy but at the same time very simplistic way. <laughs> what do you say, there, Mr. Park? I agree. <laughs> yeah, the conversation, yeah, that's, they must agree. <laughs> so let me ask you, one of my favorite soca artists is Super Blue. What do you think about Super Blue? I think Super Blue is so multi talented. I don't think even Super Blue knows the depth of his own talent. Right. If he writes his own lyrics, yeah. that is. I don't know, I know they have this lyric share. Yeah. Well, we're writing things for them, but you know something? <laughs> the most. Um, the nicest Super Blue I ever, ever heard was that song when he talked about, um, you know, um, he, it was back in 19, 1992. Mm -hmm. Children, children, today's carnival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one of the best songs I ever enjoyed from Super Blue. Yeah, okay. okay? And I think. Again, you know, basically sums up the mood of the actress Trinidadian. Right. You know, I, I think, you know, when Calypsonians write about that mood of Trinidadians, you know, they, they, it, it, how should I say it, it, um, it, no words for it. <laughs> I don't matter, no words. It, it's just that, you know, I think Trin Trinidadians in a, on a whole are, are, are very colorful people, are very, they, they go very deeply right. in their thoughts, their language. You know, to be quite honest with you, in, in, in a very on a very simplistic level, sometimes I go into the news, mm -hmm. um, the news from Channel 6, mm -hmm. and they're interviewing the average Trinidadian in the street about um, a situation. Mm -hmm. And they would give you, they, they, they express an opinion <laughs> in their own, you know, little colloquial language, but at the same time, they get their point across. Right. In North America, mm -hmm. you stop a man on the street and he tell you um, something like, 
Yes, I was there. And yeah, um, you know, they just, um, I just see this and, you know, they keep repeating the same things over and over. They're not very good right. subjects for interview. Yeah. Trinidadians are. Okay. Because they are very deep and colorful. Hey,